well, uh, you know, uh, that, that, that's that's fine. This is a business that is on the floor, but um, I'll, I'll take what honorable, honorable Sabina has requested because she has requested that uh, I get the mood of the house, whether the mover should really be called to reply. Uh, but because honorable Maji was on his floor, uh, on the floor, uh, shall we, honorable Maji, please dispense with your space, then I will, I will confirm from the house whether that is the mood. Uh, thank you, Speaker. I don't know why it is creating interest when I'm standing. But, but, but all the same, uh, I, I want to contribute to this uh, very important report by the Special Fund Committee that has gone round and has come up with a, a report of uh, the CDF accounts in Kisum County and also it did the same to Nairobi County. So thank you very much and continue doing this. I hope you'll do the same to other counties. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I want to let Kenyans know uh, the CDF model because it is one of the models that needs to be understood clearly so that uh, people can see how and why members of parliament keep on uh, insisting this is one of the kitty uh, that is uh, getting to the grassroots. Uh, Mr. Speaker, if you check uh, the way money is dis Burst by the government, national government doing projects in the in the country and also the county government is where contractors are contracted directly by the government, either national government or county government. But when it comes to CDF model, money is uh, given uh, through the constituency, then from the constituency to the community, directly to the community, it's the community that comes up with project management committee they sit down and erect a committee that will oversee a project. Therefore, this is money by Kenyans themselves. It is like returning uh, the taxes to the taxpayer on the grassroots. And uh, it is uh, the grassroots person who knows what is uh, exactly needed. That is the difference between this model, CDF model, and the other two county government uh, method of uh, taking resources to the, to the grassroots. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, this model has been uh, benchmarked by other countries. They come to this country and uh, uh, take CDF as a unique model. Therefore, I think it should be uh, really emphasized and uh, also uh, taken care of. Mr. Speaker, I want also to say this money is very true compared to the other money that uh, is allocated to the financing areas. Uh, because if you compare the kit that goes to the uh, to the CDF as compared to the money go that goes to the county you'll find that uh, in a county that takes about five billion a constituency or the constituency combined they will take less than 10 percent of that amount where it goes to the national government so i tend to think we should increase because uh, this is what the money that uh, goes directly to the people and the members of parliament given that they are all they are all the constituencies i think they are uh, better placed uh, to see the supervision and implementation of this kitty. Another issue that we have to, to, to know is that uh, the members of parliament, to some extent, really supervise this kitty. When they are going around their constituency, checking how the projects are being carried out by the CDF, in other words, they are going to the grassroots, you are giving them reasons to go to where the, project, uh, uh, the projects are. And uh, when it comes to oversight of this money, it, it has a different... Like the audit, the audit the members of parliament. By the way, ma many members of parliament are evaluated by their constituency through the implementation of the CDF projects. They will tell you this member of parliament is good because he's really building schools, is building classes and he's building them to the standard. Meaning that that is another way of uh, making sure that at least members of parliament are properly evaluated by what they are doing. Mr. Speaker, it is not acceptable at uh, this age of our country after so many years of independence and yet our schools are in very pathetic situations. Members of parliament are able to see them but unfortunately they don't have enough kitty to renovate them. Like if you go to my constituency, if I get enough kitty, I'll be able to renovate all my schools and supervise the same. 
check the number of the, the schools. You go to schools, some of these schools, primary schools, they don't have desks. You don't have enough money to, to do that because the money that goes to the uh, constituency is very little. Uh, compare the amount that we get, divide by the wards that we have. For example, we get about 100 million. You remove the administration and also paying the boats and all that. The little money that is left, suppose you divide it, uh, you are left with about maybe 70 million, you divide by about five wards, you'll find it's very little money, less than 20 million going to a particular board, and yet we are expected to build schools, we are expected to build the police stations, we are expected also to do other particular things. Mr. Speaker, uh, I also, also want to... Uh, give relevance to members of parliament. Internationally, member of parliament or house of parliaments are international things. They are known uh, as compared to other um, management units in a country. So we want to give credence to members of parliament to make sure that this position is strong in our country so that when we go out and we meet our counterpart uh, as a member of parliament, we have something to say. Because if you don't uh, give them resources, if you don't strengthen this seat, at the end of the day, members of parliament will be diluted and this seat will be diluted and the house of members uh, parliament in this country will be, uh, will, will be negated or will be less appreciated by other Kenyans. Rastri, before I sit down, I want to let Kenyans know that uh, members of parliament are not as bad as the way they take them. Because any time uh, the media is like, it's against uh, the leadership, the members of parliament, and that demoralize those genuine people on the ground, people who would like to serve these Kenyans uh, in uh, good capacity, people who would like to be appreciated. Therefore, I think they should be taken as part of the society, people who are ready to, save, to serve this country, people who want to see the good future of this country. So I support this report. And thank you very much for giving me this chance.